see which one of these players can impose their will in this very meaningful game of John Madden Ultimate League Playoff Football. Well, we've had an amazing couple days of playoffs. It continues now. The number three seed here in the Elite Conference, Michael Skimbo taking on Joel CP, the number six seed here in the wild card round of the Ultimate League. And Skimbo will take it first out of his own end zone. And will fight his way to the 20 yard line. And that's where he'll go to work. A lot of emotion coming into this game too, Coltrane. These two players were backstage. And it got chirpy back there. Joel was just letting Skim have it. Letting him know, I'm not losing to you. Capping, trying to get in Skim's head. Which is funny, Skim being the veteran in this situation. But it was funny to see, see that type of intensity coming off from Joel. Letting Skim know how hungry he is to win this game. And Skim didn't see, seem too phased by it. He seemed more annoyed than anything. First and ten, bunch to the right. Wentz. Look at going up top, Tyreek. No, picked off on. right away. Y'all thought I was playing. He's going to be in the bag. <laughs> and welcome to the playoffs of Ultimate League with Joel C. Pete. Come on. There's the emotion. Early interception for Skimbo. I'm telling you, he reminds me, I've mentioned this before, of Larry Bird said it with Magic Johnson, where Magic can go up to you before the game, hug you, you know, give you a high five, still drop 40, but for Bird to drop 40, he's like, I don't want to do business with you. Don't talk to me, get away from me. And that's the attitude Joel has. Is when he's going up against you in this game, he, he doesn't like you. After the game, we could shake hands and talk about it, but when you're my opponent, all I see is red. And that's the attitude Joel CP has when he enters these types of games. So after the interception thrown by Skimbo, Joel takes a deep breath here on a second and 11. Spread formation, run and shoot playbook. Goes it to Landry, cuts it upfield. Going up against that New England 3-3-5 odd. He's known to mix in some 1-4-6 as well for Michael Skimbo. Yeah, the playbooks we got for both of these players, Scott, he's got Joel CP running the run and shoot offense with the Indi Indianapolis Colts defense. Skimbo in that West Coast offense, and like you said, that New England Patriots defensive playbook. Gonna throw it anyway. In the coverage, Paul Krause was there for Skimbo. He's gonna bring up a second and 10 from the 44. <laughs> up for Joel. You want to get yourself in field goal range after forcing that turnover on Skim's opening possession. If Joel wins, he'll face the number one seed, Young Kiv. If Skimbo wins, he'll face the number two seed, Blocky, in the divisional round, and we are locked in. Third and 11. There's the fourth down, fourth and seven. You go for it a lot in Madden football because oh you don't get many possessions. And Skimbo knows it's big too. He's going to burn an early timeout here in the first half. Yeah, this is big, Scott. Like you said, in a five-minute quarter game with only a 30-second play clock, you got to maximize on your possessions. Talk to real-life NFL coach. I got to talk to John Madden himself about the same type of strategy. And they'll all tell you, yeah, if I was coaching a five-minute quarter game, we ain't getting the boot out too often. We're getting aggressive. And that's what we're seeing from Joel CP right here. Needs to get past the 35 to the 34. Fourth and seven here early in the game. Trying to turn a turnover into points, and he gets sacked. Oh! Back at the 45, Von Miller is there. Skim just gives him a yell right back. And if you're Joel CP, you need to realize you're going to do all that barking, you're going to do that yelling, you got to back it up. You're going up against a player with so much experience. Probably nobody has more experience than Michael Skimbo in these big games. So you got to keep, you got to get on him and get on him early because he's going to be able to fight through a lot of adversity. Michael Skimbo has played the most live event games. That's not online, on the big stage, 
40 total over the last couple seasons. Unbelievable run. He's only missed one event. Throws it up top, and Ocho Cinco pulls it in at the 19. Big catch by Ocho. And yeah, you talk about it, Scott. Look at this replay here. It's got a step. If you skim, you're a little frustrated. You would prefer that be a rack catch, run after the catch, get a touchdown, but you'll take the big game. Saw his reaction right there. He was thinking the same thing. In the red zone now. That West Coast playbook. Oh! Finds Hill at the 16. Not a big gain. That's another opportunity where you maybe want a rack catch, turn it upfield. There's nobody behind him. Seen a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Cover one, robber type defense from Joel. High snap. Hands it off on the delay. And he might have lost a yard there. It's going to be third and seven from the 16. Remember, when you see these guys play art on the screen, Scott, yes, that means right there, you see that defensive play art, you're seeing it from Joel's perspective right now. There's Skimbo's perspective with the offensive play art. These guys can't see each other's play art, so right now, Joel can't see that. That's Skimbo's point of view, because they're playing online. Third and seven. Yeah, they both have their own monitors up here on the big stage. You're not sitting on the couch side by side, shoulder to shoulder. And here comes a big fourth and 15. After the sack, good job. A defensive hurdle there over Jamal Charles and Hunter. Able to get to the quarterback. It'll be a 40-yard field goal. And it's up and it's good. Greg Zerline kicks it through. You're seeing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage from Jolin. What allows him to do that is you saw in his top three players, you got guys like Troy Vincent, Deion Sanders. You got all these goons in the secondary. And they're going to allow you to play that tight man-to-man -man coverage against this Skimbo bunch, which is so effective. Joel and Drini, probably two of the best players we've seen on the circuit when it comes to mixing in that man and zone coverage. A lot of these high-level players like to primarily play zone coverage. And yeah, what you'll see from Skimbo here, that 3-3-5 odd defense, you'll see a lot of zone blitzing. Oh, no! Here comes Henry! Henry! Can Henry get on his horse? Oh! 20! Swagging out, touchdown, Joel! Look at the emotion he calls himself. Joel CP, but he also goes by Joel CP Ali. Come on! Talk, takes himself Fight. after the great Muhammad Ali, likes to talk some trash and back it up with his game. Rumble, young man, rumble. It was Derrick Henry floating like a butterfly into the end zone. Definitely stinging like a bee on that truck. In, Trying in. to beat the greatest. Come on. Come on. Right now, that's Michael Skimbo, who's not had a great season. Missed winning the division by just a touchdown. Drive! Work for your drive! Joel's fired up, and look at this. Here it Boom. is. Boom! Then takes off. Get on your horse, Joel. Marquise Flowers is the one that missed the diving tackle. A little swag at the end right there. Motion, season life on the line. Quick throw to Hill, out to the 38. New set of downs for Skimbo. We've talked about Skimbo's experience, Scott. This is a touchdown. Throws it up to Hester. Calling for the touchdown. But Mel Renfro. Being controlled by Joel C.P., able to get back and make the play in coverage. And th this has got to be frustrating with, for Skimbo. Nobody prepares more than Michael Skimbo. And you've seen him go on that deep nine route up the sideline multiple times against the man press. You know he's expecting that to be a touchdown. He's, he's going, going back to again. it. again, Hester. Same play. And the same thing I'm saying. This is frustrating for Skim. You got something you expected to work. You think you got a trick up your sleeve. And both, all the times you've tried to do it, it's been completely back so far by that elite secondary of Joel C.P. Now how about Mel Rimfro, the catch-up speed? But Hester get behind him, but makes the play on back-to-back -back passing. And then he throws it into traffic somehow. Chad Johnson reels it in and plus territory at the 49. Dangerous pass. Yeah, this is just experience from Mike Skim. 
And he said that no one's played more live events games. This is a young man. He's been in four championship games in this MCS era. Only one other player has been, than more, been to more than one championship game, and that's problem. And he's tied with Skim for four. So when it comes to experience, nobody as good as Mike Skim. Good Rolling adjustment. out with the win. Oh. Got some green in front of him. Gets the first down. It's going to be close, actually. It's going to be a first and ten. I mean, it was a first down, but the adjustment by Joel was good. Skim was looking for that nine route again. But instead of a num normal cover one where the safety stays to the middle of the field, Joel put him in a deep half on the side of the nine route. So there was safety help over top for Skimbo to look away from that route and just scramble. I think he knows he was fortunate on both of those passes that Renfro made a legendary play both times. First and ten. Carson Wentz rolling. Throw it away. Going to bring up second down. 13 seconds left in the quarter. Wentz is four of nine for Skimbo. And you'll see that from Mike Skim, though. You see him throw the ball away, Scott. We talk about it all the time. That's something that makes him so high level. He's not going to force the ball down the field, do something unnecessary. If need be, he'll get out of trouble, throw the ball away, take a sack if he even needs to, just to live to fight another down. And that's just mature Madden football that we've come to expect from him. Wentz. That's Ocho Cinco oh. again. Wow. Close to the first down. That'll be the final play of the quarter. The rookie, Joel CP, here at the end of the one with a 7 3 lead over the veteran, Skimbo. Both these guys, huge fans of the teams they're repping. Steelers for Joel, Patriots for Skimbo. Of course, Skimbo was the New England Patriots club champion. Came up short, losing the problem. No. They're no. at the Super Bowl. Problem would go on to lose. And the final to goes the Washington Redskins champion. Of course, we'll see a little bit of goes in these playoffs as well. It's a big drive here for Skim. You got to remember, he got the ball first, Scott, and got stopped by Joel. Currently losing this game. He needs to find a way. Slides down to avoid the hit. He's going to lose a few. It's going to be a second and 12. I like how they get the helmets out for the playoffs. See the Steelers, Joel, a big Steelers fan. Skimbo, obviously, huge Patriots fan and their club championship representative. Just a little touch on the set there. Ball to 31, trailing by four. Good pocket, going up top again. He overthrows him. Yeah, this is just obviously a big part of Skimbo's game plan. He knows Joel wants to come out in that cover one type defense, and he feels like he can get those nine routes on the outside to get a step and get that big play, but unsuccessful so far. Not going as planned for Mike Skim. Big third and 12, Scott. He's got two of the fastest players in the game, and Devin Hester and Tyreek Hill. Oh, that's he's time. wide open this oh, time, and he sells out. Diving touchdown for Skim. Oh, what a read by Skim. Everyone bites on the underneath, <laughs> the deep in, the deep out. Skim goes to the vertical once again, and Tyreek Hill sells out, puts his life on the line one time for Mike Skim. 11 plays, 76 yards, taking two minutes and 26 seconds. And Skimbo now with a three-point lead. How will Joel answer? Take a knee, sort of. Take a nap in the end zone. That'll put it out to the 25. What a throw again. Sold out. Had him matched up on Jermaine Whitehead. Way too much speed. No! For a low player like Whitehead. You see an emotion from Skim. Joel's going hurry up here. Try to get the tempo going. Second and 14. Must have saw something he liked. Spread formation. Looking. And hits Grant. Grant maybe got four. That's going to bring it back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10. Nervous look over there. 
in the far seat. Good scam. You see him flying through those defensive adjustments. During pre-plays, when these guys show off some of their best skill, how fast they set up these defenses and adjust all the pre-play mechanics. Good defense! It's going to bring on. it a fourth down. This Joel's is what hurry up. again, wow. You ask those guys, okay, so how do I set up that blitz? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse the guy down again, move the guy to the left, with up, you know, press that guy up, and it, you're like, I'm like, oh, you, I'm done. You lost me. I, <laughs> this is it, Scott. This is it. And he's hiking it. Joel CP going. Buying time. No! Skips on him! Nothing there! Oh! Von Miller again! And, and Turnover on downs. And you gotta think, is the, the lack of experience for Joel CP, is, is the stage too big for him right now? You're going up against Mike Skim, the number one player in the world. Tons of experience, been in this situation many times before. And that's sort of what Skim said all season, Scott. He said, if I could just make the playoffs and get these guys in some do-or-die situations, I know I got the experience advantage. I know what it's like in that hot seat. And I feel like I'll be able to prevail. Looking good so far for Skim. He's been one of the best single elimination players we've had over the last couple seasons. Wentz, got to get down, and he will. The nine-yard line. So he needs three yards. Joel will burn a timeout. Stop that clock with 2.27 left in the half. This is just a wild card round, folks. A long way to go in this road to the Madden Bowl. Oh, what a Hell block! A block boy. Huge Hell of a block, boy. Former Longhorn. <laughs> Barrel on his way for the first down. Look at that block right there. And Skim knows it. That was Spencer Durango. Now that's the kind of Name you want on a left guard. Spencer the wrangle. And there's the two-minute warning. First and goal at the four. You know I like to give a little bit of props to the guys in the trenches. We don't talk about them enough, but those guys make plays. Near formation. Here's backfill with Skim, the Tinker and Charles. Don't see a lot of that on Sundays. It more reminds me of Oklahoma football back in 1964. But Skimbo is from Claremore. That's in Northeast Oklahoma. That's where Skim struggles. He doesn't have a good running back. Jamal Charles is only a oh, 78 wow. overall. Third down. 26 cap gold player. Skim really likes to tank his running back because he's such a pass heavy player in salary cap. So he tries to save cap at this running back position. So he's going to struggle here, pounding it in in the goal line. And he's fortunate Charles doesn't cough that ball up after a big hit from Joel CP. There's third down. Single back ace. Stretch. Stretch is outside. He might get in. Jim, Jamal Charles was fighting. Gave him all he had. And he's going to have to settle for three. Looked like he could have got to the outside. Not the greatest stick work that we've seen from Mike Skim on that, on that stretch. He's going to eat all of this clock. Take it all the way down. Joel with zero timeouts remaining in the half. Both these guys look nervous. Single elimination. Playoffs here in the Ultimate League. Big stand for Joel CP, though. Prevents the touchdown, keeps it one possession. Took the delay of game, but Joel CP declined it. Kicked it up and threw. Yeah, Joel CP, you, you get the ball to start the second half. You have a minute 15 here, down six. This is an opportunity to make a statement and get yourself a ton of momentum against the grizzled uh. veteran and defending Madden 17 champion Michael Skimbo. This is a statement drive right here for Joel CP. No timeouts. Goes to Henry. Broke a long run. That's how he got those seven points near the first half. The deficit is six. 60 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Run it again. 
Runs over Sam Shields. Bye. Gets free of get Larry off Wilson. Me, please. please, get off me. Seriously, no, sir, get off me, bro. That's Gucci. Don't touch me. Look at Joel CP with this truck. They've mastered this mechanic. Boom, get out of my way. And Larry Wilson, just a casualty along the way. I understand running over the bronze version of Sam Shields, but the legend, Larry Wilson, getting caught up in the carnage. First and 10, still no timeouts. Can't take a sack. Scramble. Got to get out of bounds, and he will. The 34 now, he's in field goal range. That's a good drive so far by Joel, but remember, he has no timeouts, so 43 seconds, zero timeouts. He's going to have to be careful not to take a sack. And while having a sense of urgency to get the ball downfield, try to get himself a touchdown here. Good read. Hands it to Landry. That'll pick up the first down. Clock's ticking, though. Gotta, gotta hurry up here. <laughs> the focus of Mike Skim right now. Knows this is big. That clock, Joel is just letting that clock tick, Scott. Got a flag up front. That's going to be encroachment. Five-yard penalty. That's key to field goal range. Eskimbo comes in, leading the league in sacks with 59 on the year. Averages just about six sacks a game. Eskimbo, yeah, who's really known for his offensive oh, ability, no. become a defensive guru as you see him blow Joel up in the backfield. Clock still ticking, Scott. 54-yarder, I don't know if he's got it. 10 seconds. That's a rookie mistake right there if you want to. No, you can't. And if the wind's blowing against him, he can't make this. Yeah. You can't make it. Going this. against the wind, that's what Michael Skimbo's telling you. Let's we'll see. Five miles an hour in his face. It's up, and it Whoa. is no good. No way. Short of the bar. Needed another yard or two. You, you got the ball in the 30, and you run a sweep to the outside. It cost you seven yards. And it, more importantly, it cost you points. And how, how prepared is Michael Skimbo? He knew immediately, knows who Joel's kicker is, knows the situation, and he told him before the kick, you can't make this. And Skim's not usually wrong when it comes to calling out things in John Madden football. Uh, there's a reason we call him the Belichick of Madden. Nobody's more prepared. Studies up, knows all the ranges. He knew the win before we knew the win. Six-point game now, start of the second half. Joel has it again. That's why that three points would have been huge. Remember, this is the ultimate league playoffs. These guys are fighting for their season, keep their season alive, and also an additional $7,500 on top of the 12-5 that they've already made for these playoffs. So quite a bit of coin. The winner of the Madden Bowl gets a hundred grand. Third and five. It's a big game, Scott. When you're playing for that much money, you're playing for your entire season. Talk about going through something special. You want to get your competitive juices going. For Michael Skimbo, anything less than a Madden Bowl belt will be a failure in his mind. Oh, pass it off! Yeah. There's Paul Krause, the legend. Oh, yeah. And he's going to have great field position at the 31. Wow. He just sinks this crossing route. going to get open, but Paulie Krause. Skim clicks on with the user pick, and look at him. First and 10 after the turnover. Looking to add to that lead. Good pocket. He's going to take off. Nothing there. You skim right now. You're just focused on protecting this ball, killing some clock. Just make sure you don't turn it over. Get some points. Make this two possessions. Maybe bailed out early there, Archie. He had Jamal Charles on a wheel route. Was one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. But he got sacked. There's that wheel route again. He's going there this time. You called it. You called it, Scott. Jamal Charles. You think I've watched that a little bit of Madden, my friend? Oh, man. And if you, if you want to look at Skimbo as he flexes, you know if we see it up here. Like, what do you want me to do right there? The number That's one player in the world is going to see it as well. And I, like, that makes no sense. That is 88 speed versus 84 speed. 
How does that make any physical sense? And, and Joel's complaining up there, Scott, like, but if he, if you look back no to his sense. last game of the season against Blocky, like, or late in the season against Blocky, Blocky destroyed yeah. that cover one defense with the wheel route out of the backfield. And if you don't think Skim watched that tape and was prepared for your cover one, you got another thing coming, Joel. I don't, I don't. Well, he was open on the play before. When he took the sack, maybe he peaked it then. Joel falling in love with that cover one just a little too much. Ooh. He's still in this ball game, though, Scott. Look at it. And the difference there. I know he's talking about, hey, my guy has got, he's, he's faster than Jamal Charles. Well, Charles is on the wheel route. He's already got the momentum. You know, by the time your guy turns no and starts to chase on coverage, that's the one step he needed. Ooh, Joel. Henry Not, almost getting free. You're right, and, and he's talking about speed, but he's only got a 78 overall gold out of position. Jabrell Peppers, who isn't going to have a great man coverage rating, so it's not all about the speed. When the running back on the wheel route cuts up field, he's going to play a cut animation that's going to give him a chance to fake that defender out and get a step. And that's exactly what yeah. happened right there. Factors there, speed, acceleration, man coverage, all those things coming into factor. When you play cover one, any, any defensive coordinator will tell you at any level of football, you're taking a gamble, especially a, a running back on a linebacker. I don't Joel. care who you are. Hopefully Joel can regain his composure here. Goes off his back foot. Now here comes a big third down. And it's all fun and games, you know, playing in the ultimate league, making this money. Then you find yourself with your season on the line going up against the number one player in the world in Mike Skimbo. And all of a sudden you realize it's not all sunshine and rainbows out here. Third and 10, down 13. Mariota, quick throw to Landry. It's gonna bring up a manageable fourth down. He's gonna go tempo, something I always hate. Oh, this is huge. Skimbo's gonna use a timeout oh. there. And, and the reason for the timeout for those just watching, those just tuning in. Skimbo with his line on aggressive after that last play. Doesn't want to get a tempo, a quick hike. That could cost him five yards and a first down. Uses a timeout to save himself from a possible penalty. And you can use timeouts in the second half when you're up 13 points. It's a great point, RG. And there's a sack once again. Oh. Yeah. Brown this time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here comes Michael Skimbo making a run. In this ultimate league, he said he just wanted to get these younger players in the single elimination. Well, this is where he's got Joel CP. And Joel not up for the challenge so far. Wentz going to use his legs. He's going to have a first down at the 42. A touchdown here would really break the back of Joel CP. Touchdown. Oh, another one. Goes up another top, one. Tyreek Hill. Oh, my God. Walks in the park. In the Swag it in the end zone. Goodness. Feed the Ducks. Oh, my goodness. Why is he in the game? I don't have a mental breakdown, Joel. I know it's so frustrating. Sense. Still got mad it's at the sense. play. I like to see that again. I'm trying to figure out. And he's my third corner. And he's... Stupid with the fade, but man, there's something there, I promise. Here's the thing, Scott. Joel, all season long, he's given up the second most passing yards in Ultimate League through the air, so he's had trouble with the pass defense all season long. Prime time, though, gets a yeah, block. Oh, my roll. goodness. Thought prime time was going to break it open. Deion Sanders, look at this again. This is just routine. You know the routine. Second time today. That Jermaine Whitehead, number 35, is a low cap player, gets burned for a touchdown. Henry. There you go, Joel. Has a lane. Here you go, CP. Turn it on. Big tackle, though, by Skim. Mel Renfro, a Cowboy legend, with a tackle. And I know if you're a Steelers fan, you don't want that. How good has Skimbo been with those dive tackles, though, Scott? He saved some big plays by clicking on, hitting that X button. Larry Wilson, the legend. Grabbing those shoelaces and...
Joel, you need to score a touchdown here. You had Henry in the open space. He couldn't score. You had the kickoff where it looked like Dion was off to the races. Not the greatest stick work there. You need to finish here if you're Joel CP. You're down 20. One of the things you got going for you, you got the ball, and then Skimbo's a passer. He's, he's not the kind of guy that can really eat the clock on you. So you're going to have some opportunities. You're going to have some possessions here. You just got to string them together, get some stops, get some touchdowns. Exactly, Scott. Ball at the 10, first and goal. Mariota. Looking, looking. Nothing there. Tries to playmaker to the side. That's covered. Sides to take uh -oh. off. Slides down. Smart move. Good slide, good pocket, good patience, good defense. High level batting all around right there from both competitors. Had all day. Full coverage by Skim there. Second and goal from the six. There's a handoff to Henry. Gets stuffed at the seven. He goes, he goes, hurry up. And if you're Joel, you just gotta continue to fight. Think about it. Skim threw an interception on his first possession of the game, and here he is up 20. Got to try to replicate some of that magic if you Joel. <laughs> and he picks him off again. Oh. That's Thomas Renfro. Yes. I'm already... And Joel CP is officially on tilt. Joel CP, it's not going well for him right now, Scott, but... That's not open. There's no world where that's open. He's, he's, he's gaining experience right now. Think about it. This is a young man. This is his first year being eligible. Yeah, rookie season. I mean, you're, you're, it's, it, it happens, you know, at, at every level. You know, you get a team that's just got good. You get into the playoffs. Oh, no, you got to face these Grizzlies, these, these veterans, a guy like Michael Skimbo, and you're, you're about to find out what you really got. Yeah, but yeah, no matter what happens, you got to take this as a learning experience. You did a lot of positive things this season. He's got a bright future. And Can't hang your head. You're disappointed. He's going through it right now, though. With the, the way this game is going. He's going to run a play here. Would have taken a delay a game. Final play of the quarter. Wentz. Will just slide down. Not sure why he didn't try to throw it away. With it being at the end of the quarter, but we'll head to the final five minutes in this one. Big wild card game has gone Skimbo's way thus far. He started off with an interception on his opening drive of the game. Somehow has battled back, and there's Hester again, and this time he's on the inside of Mel Renfro. See how he's on the inside? Yeah, he's got a step. He's got good positioning. And the biggest problem for Joel right there is he didn't click on the defender and try to swat the ball. In those aggressive catch situations, nobody likes getting aggressive caught on, but if you really want to give yourself the best chance to stop it, you got to manually switch to that defender and hold that X button to play a swat. And more often than not, you'll be able to stop that. Joel failed to execute that right there. That SWAT mechanic on that play. I feel less bad about people getting aggressive caught on when they fail to click on and attempt the SWAT. Hey, sometimes you can't use the technology. Got to use the force, click on, make a play. So if you want to take down the Empire. Yeah. Problem for Jolt is the defense. I mean. You look back to the regular season, this is a guy, even though he's here in the playoffs, he gave up the most points in the Ultimate League and also gave up the most yards out of anybody in the Ultimate League. And when your defense is having those kind of struggles, the last person you want to get matched up with is Mike Skim. Third and four. wheel route again. Nope. He's just going to take a sack and kick his field goal. Yeah. Leonard Williams. Maybe a 48-yard clock on the move. Poor frustrated. You can't help but feel for Joel CP. You know he's going through it. And, you know, he, he, like I said, he's got a bright future. That, he's a former state chess champion. He's got a strong mind. He's first year on the circuit, like we talked about. He's made multiple live events. He's got a good lab partner and his friend Trini. They went to the same high school from the same area. Yeah, just his rookie year. It's hard to 
you know, compare him as his buddy Drini. They went to the same high school in D.C. Drini's had a phenomenal rookie season. Looks like he's going to be the rookie of the year. Here in Madden 18, won a belt, still has his playoff life. But for Joel C.P., he's in the waning moments. 2.45 left in his Madden Ultimate League season. And he might have. I don't think provoking Skimball before the game helped him out any. Skim's already got a lot of motivation. The last thing you want to do is motivate Skim anymore. I mean, Skim looked at me, and after the little trash talking panel went on, I was right there, got to witness it. And Skim pulled me aside after. He said, I, I, can't, I can't let this guy, you know. After he talked like that to me, I, I, I can't lose this game, RG. Yeah, there's can't the let players' lounge right there you're talking about, blocking and Kiv. They're waiting for their opportunity. Of course, Skimbo will play Blocky, the gentleman on the left. Look at Kiv. He's just taking over the whole sure. couch. He's just comfortable in there. Blocky's <laughs> sure. on the folding chair. If I'm Blocky, I'm telling Kiv to scoot over. Let me get some of that couch. Hands it off to Henry. And Derek Henry almost spun free. There's the two-minute warning. We talk about, you know, getting skim riled up. You know, it's real easy when you go to the, you go to the zoo. There's the bears, the grizzlies. Hey, they're in the cage. You can do all you want. But, <laughs> but once you go inside the cage I with like the grizzlies, the it's a little different. <laughs> that was great. It's stuff. a little different. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Skimbo definitely a grizzly, a goon, whatever. Whatever, what, anything that's vicious on the sticks of Madden. That's what Skim is. 125 to go. Joel CP. And you talk about it, Scott. Skim gonna get matched up versus Blocky. And you saw Skimbo beat Blocky in the club championship when they faced off. And that's a guy that he said when he knew he had to play Blocky in the club championship, Skim prepared more for Blocky than he did for any other player in his career. So if you're Blocky, that's got to be a little worrisome. Because you know, if, in, if there's anybody that Skimbo's prepared to face. You see them looking on. Going to be that man, Abbott Lopez, right there. It's interesting, Joel. You know, there's time mechanic in the game where you can you can go hurry up, you can go balance, you can, you can chew the clock. And he's, he's chewing the clock. You can see the tempo in the bottom left-hand corner. He's... He's chewing that clock down, and now he's going to take a timeout. He's trying to get out of here. Yeah, Joel just wants to stop the damage. He's going to nail this, and this nail. And he's going to fall on the sword here. This is going to be the end of Joel's Madden season in the MCS. And Heck of a run for a rookie. Can't hang your head, RG. Yeah, he's going to be disappointed. That one's going to hurt for a while, but he gets to think about it, come back next year, take this experience, and bounce back stronger than ever. But this game right here belongs to Michael Skimbo, and he's primed to make a run here in these Ultimate League playoffs. Your final score, Skimbo 30, Joel CP 7. Skimbo will face Blocky in the divisional round. Speaking of Skimbo, he's standing by with our own Adrian Lawrence. Skimbo, congratulations, our first wild card winner. And Joel CP, he was a pretty good competitor. You know, he came in his first year of qualifying, and he came in third in the challenge, and he made it this far. But what gave you the upper hand? Uh, just not being stubborn. Joel's a very good player, but he's going to get probably mad at me when I say this, but this is just facts. He's got to stop being so stubborn because he feels like those man-to-man -man should press and not get off the press, but... I mean, it happens, and I've laughed that I – and it looked probably childish at home, like all the skin, the number one players just running fades, but I knew he was going to do man-to-man -man press without a deep blue over the middle, and I knew I was going to get the bump and release at least every other time, and it happened, so that's kind of just what went down. And my advice to him is just don't be so stubborn. Like, he's a great player, but you, you just can't. You can't do that. And in terms of moving on to face Blocky, I know you've prepared for it a lot, and since you've played him during the regular season, how have things changed? It's fitting that we have to play each other because he's the one person I've laughed for the most ever in my life for one particular person. And I've beaten him two times now. And I just hope that 
you know, the one time he if he beats me, I hope it's not this one. I hope we can get that 3-0 right here. All right. Well, congratulations and best of luck to you as you move on. Thank you.